Hi, everybody. This is Stu and D Dr. Stu and DJ <laughs> coming to you from my office. And there's been a, several questions today that have been asked, and I want to just get through a couple of them. So this is going to be question and answer um, session with Dr. Stu. So the first question comes from Randolph in Charter, South Carolina. Dear Dr. Stu, thank you for making these videos. I appreciate being able to ask questions. What is happening? I stay in my house. I don't see other people. I do everything I'm told, so I'm scared. But then people around me are getting the virus. People in my town, are they just not following the rules? How can I be safe? That's a great question, Randolph. Here's the problem. This virus seems to have... DJ dog, sorry. My dog is getting a little bit out of control. He likes to chew on my face covering here. Shh, shh, shh. Here's the problem. This virus has asymptomatic spread. So what we're finding, what we're finding is that people are actually spreading it for several days before they have symptoms. Now this is especially true in younger people. So even though folks are keeping social distance and they're, they're doing everything they're supposed to do, one, we don't really know how many cases there are here in the United States and in many countries because testing, specifically here in the US, is very, very inadequate at the moment. Um, even though more testing is being done, we still really don't have a good sense of what's going on. And second of all, because people can spread it when they're still asymptomatic, you may be having it and you don't even realize it, which is why we want everybody to stay home. That's a great question. Thanks for asking it. So keep up the stay home, stay safe. Right, DJ? Stay home, <laughs> stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, next question. Hey, puppy. I know you want to get in the video also. The next question comes from Carla in Surrey, England. Dear Doctor, the authorities are telling us not to be tested for the virus if we show no symptoms. But then we read that politicians and famous people find out that they have the virus but show no symptoms. If you are famous or rich, can you be tested? That's a, that's a great question. Um, and a difficult one to answer. So yes, if you are famous and rich, it seems that you have an easier time getting tested than if you're not famous and rich. Hopefully that'll be fixed once we get more testing availability around the world. Right now, if you have signs or symptoms of COVID, fever, dry cough, you know, chest, anything going on with difficulty breathing, you should just assume that you, and you know, if you have a fever and a dry cough, or even if now we're seeing people that are saying that the first symptom they have is losing their smell, sense of smell. If you have any of those symptoms, you should just assume that, you're, that you have COVID and self-isolate yourself. Keep yourselves away from other humans. Keep yourselves away from your cat, if you have a cat at home, because cats can catch this disease as well. So um, really important question. Um, I'm not gonna get into the social ramifications of why rich and famous people can get tested. It seems easier than regular people. But in fact, right now here in the United States, if you don't have symptoms and you're not being admitted to the hospital, then people are not testing you. We just want you to assume that you actually have the illness. Let's answer one more question from today. Last question for today comes from William Lee somewhere. I'm not going to, since it looks like it's his first and last name, we're not going to say where he's from. But the question is, I have not been sick. Is it beneficial for me to donate blood? And then he asks a couple of more specific questions, which I'm not going to get into. But here's the thing, here's the, uh, the issue. That's a great question. We still have a blood shortage here in the United States and in many parts of the world. So donating blood, even during this time of coronavirus, is still very important. 
The Blood Bank Association has actually recently changed the criteria for who is allowed to donate blood, and those criteria are actually changing. So if you're planning on donating blood, which is an admirable thing to do, and if you're not having symptoms, then you should consider donating blood. If you, don't, if you want to do that, please check with your local blood donation center. You can call them. You can go on the American Red Cross or American Blood Bank Association website. They'll have the new criteria. Please check with them and um, find out what the latest criteria are for donating blood. That's a very admirable thing to do, even during this time of COVID-19. Thanks so much for asking questions. If you have a question, we're happy to answer it. Please go to our website, www.drstu.org. We'll answer your questions, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you the next time. Thanks.